hello 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 welcome back to mrs always right channel hello everybody this is mrs always right saying a very big hello to all my subscribers and my followers and my viewers and everybody out there watching this channel first of all my aim in this channel is to come here and say thank you god thank you god i can say thank you god all day because it has done me so good the more i say thank you god the more i see the goodness of god in my life because god is always happy when we appreciate everything he does for us then he will add more and more blessings in our life so sorry about the camera is just flipping so sorry so a very big thank you to all my subscribers also for supporting this channel and also giving me all the likes sharing and also making comments on my channel so i'm so so happy about the whole situation so thank you everybody for this opportunity as i said when i come here I would introduce this channel in this channel we have so much things we are doing we do so much like me i like to dance like today the whole day i've not done so i'm not really feeling myself because every time i dance a lot of things changes in my life so today was a day i decided because i came back from work a bit maybe around three o'clock so the rest of the time i was busy in the kitchen sorting out meats everything i have to clean and cook and then put some of it in the freezer so so that each time i want to cook i just take it defrost it and then cook and which is which make it very easy for me so i also have to cook my african soup so the whole day it was very busy for me so i'm just coming here now to share a bit of information just something a bit things that you can rely on so so far so good i'm so grateful about all your contribution to this channel and also i always ask you to pardon me if i'm not very fluent in my speaking because what i told you before i was a strutter i'm still a strutter but i have to compose myself very well to come and talk because sometimes not that i am mumbling or something but i'm so happy that i can even make a state a sentence and a bit of bit i'm trying to improve my confidence when i'm trying to speak but that doesn't make me not to come and share whatever i want to share so today's topic is going to be the bible and anxiety the bible and anxiety so let me tell you everything that happens in this world it has already been happening in the past in religious in the past anything history it has been there so in bible the bible frequently warns us about experiences or emotions that frequently crop up in our lives the more often the bible 
brings up certain subjects certain subjects so arise in our hearts so the things that consistently arise in our our heart otherwise the bible would not work so hard to address them so for instance how often christians warn us against hunger not only is hunger a common problem but too often it can lead to deadly consequences so the bible talks about hunger a lot hunger a lot so this is how hunger can cause problems so we see this for anxiety and worries as well anxiety comes up often in the bible anxiety comes often in the bible so the bible says cast your case on the lord and he will sustain you that is in psalm 55 verse 22 and also in first peter chapter 5 verse 7 he says cast all your anxiety on him for he cares for you and also this is what god says about anxieties and worries in our lives because if you put it up too much too much of anxiety can lead to some consequences which can cause so much upsetting and it can lead to depression it can cause so many things so there's a lot of things behind anxieties and worries so another one says in Matthew chapter 6 verse 25 said do not let your heart be troubled as well so now Matthew 25 on Matthew 6 verse 25 says don't worry about your life and then in John chapter 14 verse 1 says don't let your heart be troubled so when you talk about anxious and situation like that there's a lot of things we have to talk about as well and in Philippians 4 verse 6 God also says don't be anxious about anything but in every situation by prayer and by petition with thanksgiving present your request to God so if we never had reasons to be troubled worried nervous or anxious we would have be directed so often in scripture to give it all to God because that is how we have to direct all our anxiousness, uh, stress, anxiety to God. So I'm just going to tell you a bit about what is anxiety. <clears throat> because it's a bit of a situation that we have to also consider the meaning of anxiety and what is anxiety. Most of us recognize that anxiety or worry can vary significantly in cause, in cause, intensity and duration or on some level. You might feel anxious while you wait to hear what you expect, whether it will be a good news. That is part of it. About a hope for could be hope for pregnancy response to marriage proposal or a promotion at work those things can make you anxious mm -hmm. you can just you, it, it's not easy to wait for a, a result of a, something or promotion or something so you might feel anxious while you wait to hear such things 
and you expect it to be good news about a hoped some pregnancy or something a bit some you know like promotion and marriage pro proposal so excitement at the prospect of good news can feel like a little anxiety so you don't expect you don't if you don't find this kind of anxiety prom problematic problematic we also expect a certain level of anxiety while awaiting lab result that might reveal something so there's a lot of things that can bring up anxiety in us we expect something good news and nobody will ever sit down and expect bad news or what you, we always expect is good news but sometimes we lose control we panic we don't know how to manage with the excitement of what we're going to expect so that can trigger anxiety in us and also not all anxiety can be avoided you can never avoid all the anxiety it has to come so most of the time you have to also prepare for it and also take half a way you will cope with it sometimes it's you can take it to god in prayer because that is the first thing you can do when it becomes too overwhelming the anxiety however anxiety and worry may so consume a person every day can consume us every day that it renders him or her incapable of functioning and concentrating on tax so anxiety can cause lack of concentration it can cause lack of memory as well and it can cause you um, not functioning when you are doing things so some people a little thing can upset them and soon as that thing it comes affect them they lose control then is they are disorganized and then anything they're supposed to do it just just drop concentration just drop and most of it can lead to human error something you can do but due to anxiety you forgot what you do and it can affect your production at work when you are not f doing well because of stress so it's all down to stress as well and also um this can be clinical disorder or in need of serious attention medical problem requiring the medication and perhaps longer term counseling and therapy so no one should presume to judge the quality of a person's faith on account of seeming inability to just cast one's care upon the lord and go on with life in some carefree trusting manners it is not always so simple so when it comes to anxiety it can disorientate you it can cause you to even not even remember to pray it can break you down it can cripple you it can flat you down it can put you into zero level in life when you cannot able to cope with anxiety so we're going to talk about faith and faith and anxiety so i'm just going to run this one quickly and then maybe next time we're going to talk deeply about this anxiety in a different form faith is, is there a form of anxiety that could be considered more of a spiritual issue of faith than a clinical one perhaps if we insist on trying to deal with our anxieties completely on our own and never pray about them or entrust them to God's loving hands then we may produce in ourselves a potential long-term faith issues 
was if we conclude that God does not even care about the things that worry us to the point we don't even bother to pray about them. We would need spiritual care and counseling to address our faith and call trust in loving care of loving care of God's hand. So clearly, clearly, Jesus does not want us to spend our life fretting about every little detail of life, particularly in our lives, particularly if our lives have been so well provided for already. If there is food or money in the bank or clothes in the closet, then nothing a constant anxiety about stock market. So in case we don't know, God said we shouldn't worry about what we are wearing, what we are eating, whatever, because he is always there for us. And he can, he will provide, we should think about the birds of the sky. They don't sow, they don't reap, but they still have something to eat. So most of us, when we wake up in the morning, all we worry about is, what am I going to eat? What am I going to eat? What am I going to do? Oh, brains, everything. And every time, the whole time, from mon Monday to Friday, January to f December, from the whole year, every time. So it will build up, it will build up in your body, in your brain, in your system. So once that too much overwhelm in your body, your body will shut down and then you start experiencing stress, depression and con lack of concentration and it becomes you need permanent treatment for that. So God said we shouldn't worry about things. We should slow down, we should think about how good and how caring God is with us. Because when God created us, he created us to have life more abundantly. And we have to enjoy this earth as we are now. So he created this earth for us to be happy. So in case when things become so hard and you don't know what to do, you have to put your tunis and pray and talk to God. God is the one. Who made us God knows our situation God will not lead us and let us be stranded when he's leading us God is always there to lead us to the end of the road and give us support so don't let anxiety and stress take this promise of God from us because once you shake once you are nervous you can focus and get this good promises of God to manifest in our life. So <clears throat> there's a popular song that was saying, don't worry, be happy. Or there's another one they sing, why worry when you can pray, trust in Jesus and he will lead your way. Don't be like doubting Thomas, be resting on his promise. Why worry, worry, worry when you can pray? So we must try to cast our anxieties onto the Lord and ask for his spirit to see, to see us through dark nights of worry. When sleep will not come, God does not care. God does care for us. God does not want us to worry. That is why he says we should cast our burden onto us. And God will God is always easy to rest on when we are doubting what is going to happen next. So we have to trust in God faithfulness above other things so we have to trust in God's faithfulness so with God's help may we feel our anxiety dim as our faith grows brighter in Jesus name and study 
with the truth along with other people. I encourage people to be strong. I encourage people to cast their burden onto Christ, give them the hope, explain to people how they can cope with anxiety, and also be an encourager. Show them that you care because some people's anxiety could be loneliness, not being loved, no friends, and it makes it hard because some people need that care, that smile, that tender loving care. Listening and talking to people can also help reduce stress and anxiety. Being there for people can also support them. So while we are thinking of ourselves, we also think about other people and this will help reduce stress and worries and anxiety. So as I said, I always say thank you to everybody that is watching or my subscribers, no matter where you are, please continue to watch our channel and thank you, thank you and also subscribe please and like and share and also press the notification buttons so that anytime we post share videos you can also share it as well and also be notified and have a wonderful evening and bye